Now to the CBS 4 News Consumer Alerts. Sunscreen, a way of life here in South Florida, but a report finds many of the products on store shelves don't offer adequate protection. But that's not the only concern. Some sunscreens include potentially harmful ingredients. CBS 4's Bradley Blackburn has what to look for to keep your family protected. Vanessa Prota regularly puts sunscreen on her kids, whether the family is getting ready for the beach or visiting the park on a cloudy day. Why is it important? Why, do you, why does she do that? Because or then sun will burn you. They're avoiding sunburns and avoiding certain chemicals by buying mineral-based sunscreens. Is it hard to find at all? No, not really. You find it most places. There are safer products available now in more mainstream stores. So Nika Leiba with the Environmental Working Group also pays attention to what's in sunscreen. Her team evaluated more than 1,800 different products and found just 25% met the group's standards. How effective they are at providing adequate broad spectrum protection. And then we look at the inactive ingredients to make sure that those also aren't linked to health harms. The FDA is now researching sunscreen chemicals and new rules are expected in the fall. But EWG is urging consumers to switch to mineral products now. Some sunscreens say on the front label that they're mineral based, but every sunscreen lists its active ingredients on the back. EWG says look for zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, or both. The minerals reflect UV rays and are not absorbed by the skin. The group says avoid sunscreens with the chemical oxybenzone, which is easily absorbed and linked to health concerns. We want to make sure that they cover that. Parents taking a proactive approach to sun protection and overall health. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. The Environmental Working Group also recommends avoiding sprays over aerosol concerns and because it's hard to get a uniform coating. Good education there because I've learned a lot. I use the sprays, yeah. but I try to evenly spread it out. I'm impressed with the little ones who know exactly right. what it's for. My son, he, he's not a fan, but no. I force him to put it no, on all the time.